There's got to be like no one actually playing tonight. If I'm number 13 in rank. This got to be number one. <laughs> okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. This is a pretty cool team. I really like my Urshifu. I think it's quite good. Uh, but I think I just go with this. <clears throat> yeah, I think I go Clefairy, Dragapult, Zerkatry, Urshifu. And pull something off there. What are you guys doing in my chat and not playing in this tournament? For shame. For shame. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much the lead I wanted. Actually, I kind of want an Icy Wind to protect. <laughs> Just to break, like, a possible Sash on the Regieleki. Oh, let's go. Got him. Um, still trying to kill this fly. I mean, yeah, now I can just follow me, Dragon Dance. Volt switch, I can eat that up. That's fine. I'm permanently faster than this Regieleki unless there is a Tornadus in the back. So it's probably in range of one Dragon Darts. Or Shifu. Hmm. Okay, it's Urshifu Water. We're good. Oof. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't actually very enjoyable. That was not a very enjoyable combination of moves. Um, I could go down to that. Let's protect here. I'm going to Phantom Force Arena. I'm more concerned with that. Yeah, that's just going into the boy. That's fine. Alright. I think we're fine. Yeah, because I dodged that. I can just send in my good friend Circuitry now. Go for Deagling. And the double up should KO uh, Zarina. Probably also get a free KO. Dazzling Gleam. Serena doesn't tend to carry Protect, but even if it does carry Protect, we bypass it here. And they shouldn't be able to ever KO my, uh, my Zerka Tree. Since we're rocking the Choice Band, aka the hard counter to Urshifu Water. <laughs> or not Choice Band, uh, Citrus Berry. The hard counter to Urshifu Water. Where it's like, oh, I'm gonna KO, and eh, no, I'm not. Literally, if you want your Incineroar to live in Urshifu Water, give it a Citrus Berry. It's that easy. It's that easy. All right, got that KO. What if they're Ice Punch? What if they're actually Choice Band and I get this? Oh, okay. Well, they're just hitting the boy. I mean, 
My Zergatru was able to attack without taking damage. This is like a fine turn for me. They're in range of uh, funny move, dragon darts. So yeah, I just I just click spread move. This is the spread move game. I click spread move, I win. Oh wait, that might be an issue. That one, that one right there, that guy right there, that guy might actually ruin this for me. That that guy right there, actually. Uh, you know what? Let's attack anyways because they still have to choose. They still have to choose. Yeah, I don't lose if I lose my Zerkatry. And if I have Dragon Darts, I always win. Yeah, we're fine. Their Life Orb, okay. I'm gonna get plus one off of this, and I should always live this. I was kind of hoping the Mammoth Swine just wasn't part of this match, but but it is, and that's just the reality we have to live with. Oh, I really hope that's not AV Mammoth. I really hope that's not AV Mammoth. <laughs> Stupid fly. We don't know what speed the Mammo is either. Okay, so I am Sash, but if they decide to Ice Shard into my Urshifu, I lose. That's the issue. Oh, this could be throwing. This could be throwing. It depends. It really depends. Uh, if they Ice Shard, I just lose. I could detect here and like always in win if they go for that play, but I don't think it's worth it. Uh, I'm gonna. All right, they're they're they've been winning their matches. I think. No. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. The Electroweb. Okay. Also, that might be Specs. Okay, I lose. <laughs> They could miss an Electroweb. That is an option. My play here is to go for Aqua Jet Crit. Actually, my play here is going to be to protect and see what they do, and that, that helps me decide. If they Electroweb again, that means that they're Specs, and I do go for Surging Strikes and hope that they miss. They are. They are Specs. I was going to say, because that did... Even though I'm an Urshu, that did a little too much. So my play is just to hope that they miss. Miss? Nope. Okay, good game. Yee to kiss. Alright. Dude, there's like no one playing tonight. Okay. Um... I think I just go for like setup here to be honest. Let's lead a Zerk, Rilla, Lefairy, Incineroar. I think I can do that. It's probably Urshfu Water too. Yeah, I think I do that.
So if you on Rillaboom, okay, let's see whose thing goes up first. That helps us decide. All right. Pretty sure that was mine. Pretty sure that was mine, okay. Let's go for this. Nope, not mine. Or we're speed tied. Could be one of two things, I don't know. There wasn't actually a tell there. For some reason I thought it would say the opposing or your. But it did not. Or maybe it was a speed tie and I just lost. Am I crazy? I could have sworn that that had like a tell. Where it said your. It was a tie? Oh, that sucks. Okay. My horsepower... All right, decent damage. Oh, it's if it's on the left, it's yours. Okay, I'm stupid. I don't know why. Like, I've never actually noticed that in-game because I play too much showdown. Like, which side it appears on. Alright, incinerate that up pretty well. Um... Circuitry outspeed so I can eat that. What was that? Tengi, thank you so much for the raid. Alright. I'm willing to sack this. Good luck in the tour. Honestly, I never really take the tours too seriously because I set it up myself. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that's not great. Fair, but winning is luck and luck is winning. True? Also, their Sylveon actually outspeeds me. Which is a little weird. That means they got some investment on it. Gorilla. Yeah, I didn't think they'd actually outspeed me there. So I, I'm not used to that. Hmm. I mean, I can go for the KO, but that's like super risky. Let's just do it anyways. What are your thoughts on terrestrializing? I have none because there's very little we know about it to be honest. There's like we can't make we can't make broad statements about if it's good or bad yet, you know? That's that's where I'm standing on it. I'm going to say I think it's probably all right. It's probably a it is certainly a mechanic, you know? We can totally do that in the game. Okay, well, that wasn't the best time for that to go away.
Pretty sure I just lose. Not doing so hot today. That's a little risky. All right, check out this crit. No crit. Oh, they calm mined it. Okay. Um, that's fine. That's not what I want to do. A okay, fake out onto you. That's fine. I get the KO. Cool. All right. Not in the worst spot now. Especially after all this recovery. Also, just realized I haven't been recording this whole time, so I'm gonna have to download the VOD. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. Okay. Thanks for the follow. Alright, let's go for the protect here. Get in the goat. Withdraw the Rillaboom, that's fine. Especially if it's that, yeah, okay. Urshfu Rapid Strike, too. I mean, who knows? Maybe they'll Parting Shot. I don't think they will. It's not in their best interest. Flare Blitz, that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Oh, this is so risky. This is so ri guys. Don't don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. This is so risky. All right, it worked out. I was gonna say this depends on their item. The outcome of this play is entirely dependent on if they're um, Mystic Water or Choice Band. Is this okay with the Incineroar? I get an Icy Wind off to finish off the Urshifu. Oh, okay. Well, actually, I lose now. It did not KO the Incineroar. I- what- what is your item? Stop me tantrum. Hmm. Okay, this has to KO the Incineroar or we lose. Clefairy the goat. Clefairy the goat. Okay. <laughs> Clefairy the goat. No one can say otherwise. Alright. Play's pretty obvious here. Fake out. It was a speed tie. Unless they didn't fake out this turn. Who knows? I get the crit. Eh, it doesn't really matter at that point. Yeah, if I connect the Icy Wind, that's all that really decides the game. Let's go for the U-turn. 
Moonblast should do it from that range. We're good. Okay, sweet. Managed to get that game. Awesome. Very poggers. Good game. Alright, let's see. Titus, 1528. That's a pretty cool team. Um, Sylveon could be annoying. Sylveon could be annoying. I think Zergatry's fine here again. I don't think we lead off with Clef, though. I think we need Fake Out Pressure. Probably Rilla, Clef, Urshifu. All right. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm pretty sure here they they almost can't, like, leave the Lando at home just because Ursh- or just because, like, Zergatry exists. But also, but also, I can just, like, Dazzling Gleam it at plus one, and we're, like, fine. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much the lead I wanted. I'm assuming we're just going to trade Calm Mines here. And if they're Throat Spray, that's a little worse, but not that bad. I almost want a U-turn. I almost want a U-turn. Because they could get in Lando here, and that makes us a little bit more annoying, but I should be okay. Urshifu, uh, that's fine. It's Urshifu Dark. Okay, yeah, that's, that's actually, like, really fine. No, that's actually crazy good for me. I do something really specific here, though. <laughs> as much as I want to stay in on the Urshifu Dark, if it's Choice Band, I, I, like, I just go down. I lose my guy, you know? So I'd rather do this. This guarantees I at the very least take the Urshifu from them. Zergatry gets Calm Mind. You never see it because it also in every other generation gets uh, Tail Glow. But uh, we have to use Calm Mind this gen because Tail Glow doesn't exist. All right. They wicked blow. Cool. Let's see if they were choice banned. What? I could have sworn I lived that with the with the friend guard. What? They gotta be like adamant choice. I gotta run that calc. Hold on. I gotta run that calc. I was supposed to live that. Like every time. Let me see. Sorry, I'm like running this calc, because I was supposed to live that. I also have to play this game still. Hold on. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> okay. They gotta be adamant choice band for that to happen, right? 
Oh, they switch out? Okay. Hold on, I'm running this cow. Uh, Zerka tree. My custom set. And Urshifu. Let's give him a choice band. And friend guard. Yeah, alright. Hold on. Hold on, I'm showing the calc on screen. Just so you guys know, I'm not crazy. If I could actually get that on screen. Right there. I live it. Unless they're adamant. So they were adamant choice band. The madman. Okay. Insane. Alright. Um, I forgot where I was, to be honest. Let's you turn on you. And Icy Wind. Sure. I forgot what game I'm playing after that. <laughs> Are you a fan of High Horsepower Rilla? Not particularly. Does crit ignore friend guard? No, yeah, crit doesn't ignore friend guard. So I would have lived that. I mean, there is one positive to this, but, like, the the chances of winning are now astronomically low. There's only one positive to this. It's just that I know that my Urshifu outspeeds theirs. Hey Moxie, I ran into someone using Calyrex Shadow on the ladder. I can't control that. It's just someone breaking the rules. There's no actual rule set that turns off Dynamax and bans uh, legendaries because Game Freak is not the best at making rule sets. Um, <laughs> so that's why. Uh, I have no control over that. And the thing is, they have to blatantly break the rules that had to be on purpose because I set it so randoms can't join. You have to have the code. And on top of that, um, you have to, what is it called? Let me U-turn. On top of that, you have to, like, y y the rules are literally on screen. It says no Dynamax, no Restricted. Like, they have to read it and then explicitly break the rules. Let's see if I get away with this. If they let me U-turn here, I might actually win. Okay. <laughs> they flare blitz. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to Moonblast this Urshifu, and I'm also going to Surging Strikes, this Incineroar.
that catches a few options. Obviously, I broke my sash, which kind of sucks, but um, it's fine. I might be able to take a close combat with friend guard. Oh, they're going to let me. Okay. Insane. I mean, if I live this close combat, we're just kind of in this game again. I lived. Okay, we're in this game again, because this Urshifu is going to go down to Clefairy. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, and I still have follow me. Obviously, we have to be careful with that Sylveon. But if they don't have any fake out here, we're like in a good spot. Landorus. Okay. Um, It can't protect versus me. My play is always just to attack it. And they can't one shot me. I, th I can win this. I can actually win this. Unless they're quick attack. <laughs> like, that's like the only out. <laughs> well, actually, no, quick attack wouldn't even do it. Also, I'm faster. I didn't expect that. They're just running modest, adamant. Like, they're, they're like, I don't care about living hits. Or, I don't care about outspeeding Pokemon. I want to one shot everything. So, this is like modest Landorus or not max speed. Not outspeeding Urshifu is like not advisable, by the way. I don't think that's actually a good idea. All right, they should hyper voice here. Yep. Michael Fairy lives. I can now go for fake out into Moonblast, and I somehow won this match. What? <laughs> after after that turn one catastrophe, I somehow won this match. Go go gadget ally switch Sylveon. Yeah, they could have done that. That is that is an actual option they had. All right. Moonblast, fake out. Let's see if they have protect. Even if they don't, like Grassy Glide, Moonblast is still doing a lot. They don't have protect. They should have clicked it there. All right, special attack drop for the for the road. Nope, okay. Are they leftovers? They are. Um, I'm tempted to go for knockoff. And follow me. Ooh, is knockoff? No, I don't knock off. I'm I moonblast. No, I follow me and I grassy glide. I already got my initial damage. They protect this turn. That's crazy. I think I knock off now. The question is, do I follow me or do I Moonblast to try to get the special attack drop? Because I don't want them recovering. I don't want them being able to recover. Uh, I think I Moonblast here. I think I do Moonblast. Because they're going to struggle to KO my Sylveon. Let's go for knockoff. Because once the grass is gone, yeah, my damage is lowered, but then like... Them having no recovery is probably better, especially if I get the special. They just hyper voice. Alright, that's sick. I think I just went off of that then. Especially if the spitak drop happens. Let's go! Alright. Oh uh, man, this video is going to be a pain to edit. Because I cause I haven't been recording locally. I'm, I'm gonna, I have to pull from the VOD, right? So that just means that like... That just means this is going to suck to edit, because I don't have separate audio tracks. Alright, actually that's in range of Moonblast, that's hilarious. I'm going to win with the... Dude, this Clefairy is going to have picked off two Pokemon. 
It's going to have picked off two Pokemon by the end of this match. Insane. We got a ban Clefairy. This Clefairy actually just won me this game. All right, good game. I'm going to call the stream there. Tonight has not... It, it has been... We had technical issues. We had a lot. I'm just going to call the stream there. I'm tired. We're going to come back on Saturday with uh, that run to number one on Series 13. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I appreciate you, all of you.